Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another bye bye decluttering video and this week we are going to do my blushes. Now this is not all my blushes but I keep them in this like Sephora. This side is my bronzers and this side is my blushes. A lot of blushes I do not use. If you are interested in these kinds of decluttering videos, then pull up a seat, grab some wine, and let's get started. I do have about half um, high-end blushes and half drugstore blushes. Let's start with the drugstore, why don't we? Let me take them out, 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 out. Why is that song stuck in my head? So this may not seem like that many blushes, but I need to get rid of some, I just don't use. First we will start with this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine and this is the new reformulated one. I am going to keep this. It's really really pretty. It almost looks kind of dark for a blush. It's really buttery and smooth. That's it right there. I think it's really pretty blended out and there's a crap ton of product in there. So I am going to keep that one. The next drugstore blush I have is from e.l.f. and you can see that this the packaging like it doesn't even have words on it anymore because I've used it so much. This is the e.l.f. blush in Jet Setter and it's a similar tone to the other one, maybe a little more cool toned. This is not nearly as pigmented as Mellow Wine is. It's definitely more of a cool toned pink, but I think it's really mauve -y, if that makes any sense. So I like to wear this during the winter time and I think it goes good with a lot of sultry, dark, smoky looks. So I am going to keep this one. Next I have these two NYX blushes, Baked Blush, Illuminator, and Bronzer. I have two of them. One is in Sugar Mama, and this is definitely more of a pink or a peachy one. This is what that one looks like. Now this one is more of a peach. So it's this one down here. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one just because I don't use it because it doesn't show up on my skin that well. I don't think it's that pigmented. I have another blush that does basically the same thing. So I'm going to hand this one off. The second NYX uh, baked blush that I have, it's called Chiffon. Same packaging and this one's a little bit more of a rosy tone. So it's that one up at the top. These just aren't that pigmented. I really wanted to like them. So I'm going to hand those two off. The next drugstore blush I have is from Milan. Lani, and this is of course Luminoso. Okay, everyone knows. This is really good. This is another uh, peachy toned and it's really pretty. I think that it comes off a lot better than the next ones. Way better. It's this one right here on my hand and it just adds a little bit more of a luminous look. It's nice to have a little luminous blush if you don't want to do a highlight and a blush. You can just kind of do both in one. I think this is really good. It has a really long staying power so I'm going to keep this one. Next we are on to high end blushes and the first one I have is Benefit's Rocketeur blush. Some people really like this packaging. I think it's okay. It's really bulky. I don't really like to travel with this all that much because I find that it takes up a lot of room. It's for longevity and the color of it. It's really pretty. So that is Rocketeur right there. I think it's a really pretty mix between a, to a rose toned and a peach toned blush. It's almost pink with some orange like glitters in there. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it looks kind of duochrome to me. I think this is a really great blush. Granted, there were words in here once before. I think this is a really good blush. I just don't use it for traveling, so I'm gonna keep this one. The next two blushes I have are from Bare Minerals. Let's get real. I don't use any of these. I used to, like, when I was in middle school, high school, um, this was the only blush I would wear because I would only wear the Bare Minerals Loose Powder Foundation. This one is in True Something because the name has rubbed off and I don't know what it's called. The problem with these is they go everywhere. Wow, I was shining bright like a diamond in high school. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. That's almost like an eyeshadow. I'm having second thoughts. I really like it. <laughs> I just don't ever use it. Maybe if I can use it as an eyeshadow because as you see, it has these little gold uh, sparkles in it. I don't know what I was doing in high school when I thought this looked good, but I think I'm gonna keep this not for a blush, but for a high, for an eyeshadow because this is a really, that you get a lot of pigment in here. Wow, I'm not doing very good. This one is in Rose Radiance. And again, it's a loose, it's just a loose powder. Yeah, see, this one's definitely more like 
like a blush. Who was I in high school? Like, what is that color? I'm definitely gonna get rid of this. It is way too Barbie pink for me. This is a little Makeup Geek Z palette dealie, and I just have one of her blushes in here. This is Spellbound. It's definitely more of a baby pink blush, but I don't ever wear it because I don't, I can't, I don't feel like I can bring this with me. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. Next, I have the Smashbox uh, Chiffon Blush Rush, and this is so cool because it like, oh, this is really cool because supposedly it, there's a little, there's a mirror and it, oh yeah. So I really like the packaging. It does have quite a bit of sparkle in it. This is one that I've had forever. So that is that one up at the top there. It's really light and it's pretty. This is really pretty, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't ever wear it. Next I have this Too Faced Love Flush Baby Love Blush. I'm keeping it, we already know that. It looks like this, it's just a nude. The only thing is these blushes feel really dry. They're just not very buttery and I find that you need to build it up a little bit. It's matte with just a little bit of shimmer and I love the color, it's very neutral, so I'm gonna keep this one. The last two blushes I have are from Becca and one is in Flower Child and the other one is in Songbird and it doesn't look as drastic. Wow, it kinda does look drastic. It is very pink, very, very light. These are so buttery, these are probably my favorite blush formulations that I have. It's really, really light toned, so it's up here, and it is a little bit more of a cool toned pink, but I think it's really pretty. You just kind of have to be careful and go in with a light hand. I love this blush. It is pricey, so keep that in mind if you want to go buy a Becca blush. I mean, they're beautiful, and they're really pigmented, so they're gonna last you a long time. Just, they're up there in price, so just keep that in mind. And then this one, I'm not getting rid of, and we already know that, it's called a Songbird, and this is definitely more of an apricot. See, and this is the most orange blush I have. Surprisingly, I really like it. I don't think, I think that it adds a lot of warmth when you are a tan or have a darker skin tone. I think it looks really pretty and it would show up on a lot of skin tones. So these are the blushes that I'm getting rid of. The Bare Minerals one in True Radiance, the NYX uh, Baked Blush in Chiffon, the NYX Baked Blush in Sugar Mama, and then this Smashbox Blush. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for sitting down and kind of going through my stuff with me. I think it's kind of fun to be able to see what you have and what you really don't use. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Come back next week for a new video. So if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.